This week, Russia launched a full-scale assault on Ukraine, starting on Wednesday night, with the White House spending much of the past week coordinating a response. The U.S. has imposed sanctions on Russian banks, and in coordination with Europe, has imposed sanctions on Putin himself. President Biden spoke with Ukrainian President Zelensky and has spoken with him in the, multiple times in the days since. The United States also offered to evacuate Zelensky from Kyiv as the Russians pressed into the city, with the Ukrainian president reportedly saying, the fight is here, I need ammunition, not a ride. President Biden also released $350 million in military funding for Ukraine, and the Pentagon has said they will continue to provide defensive assistance. Ukrainians are calling for an embargo on Russian energy products, a no-fly zone over Ukraine, and removal of Russia from the SWIFT transaction system. While some in Europe expressed hesitancy over the latter move, recently all countries in Europe have signaled they are on board. Congress is back in session next week, and there will likely be bipartisan support for additional sanctions against Russia and an aid package to Ukraine. Today, I'm authorizing additional strong sanctions and new limitations on what can be exported to Russia. This is going to impose severe costs on the Russian economy, both immediately and over time. President Biden did finally announce his pick to the Supreme Court. Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, who was confirmed to the D.C. District Court last year on a bipartisan vote, will likely be the first black woman to sit on the highest court in the nation. She is a former public defender, a rare trait for a Supreme Court justice. While Republicans have already begun attacking her, Democrats appear united in support as she faces a close and grueling confirmation process over the next few weeks. On the supply chain side, the president announced $35 million in funding from the Defense Department to MP Materials, a rare earth mining company based in California. They aim to invest $700 million of their own money to create a domestic supply chain for lithium and other rare earth min minerals. These materials are vitally important for creating batteries, semiconductors, and renewable energy technology, and right now China controls much of that market. The Pentagon hopes this investment can improve national security by reducing dependence on foreign countries for these key materials, especially in military hardware. Looking ahead, President Biden will give his first State of the Union address on Wednesday. He plans to address his stalled Build Back Better agenda and will try to highlight the positive economic developments from his first year in office. 